name's Justine um, and I've started this channel purely because I do lots and lots and lots of different types of crafting, artwork, journaling. Basically if it involves paper, pens, paint, I'm there. I'm there and I'm doing it. I watch a lot of YouTube channels, a lot, um, and I'm so inspired by what people do and I love that people share and I just sort of thought that's, that's what life's all about is giving and sharing and, and inspiring each other and encouraging each other and so this is why I'm doing my channel and this is why I am doing this today and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'd start off simple and small with just a, a flip through of an album that my I made for my dad. He uh, had just recently had a birthday on the 21st of December. Isn't that nice of him to have it so close to Christmas? It's always a little bit tricky to know what to get him, especially now because he's uh, he just turned 77 actually. So he doesn't really want for much. Apple of his eye is my daughter who's seven. Um, she is the highlight of his day when, she, when he sees her. So I thought I would share with him some photos of her that he could keep and, and maybe cheer him up on a day when he's not feeling well or things aren't going too great. This is the little, I just decided to do, I wanted to keep it really simple. So I decided to do one of the little Instagram and We are Memory Keepers um, album. See, look at that. See, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so um, I decided to get it in black because it's simple and it's a bit more masculine, I think. And I just did some knots and crosses on the So side. the first photo is one of my daughter and my dad. Oh, duh. <laughs> so what I've done is I've just backed them on... I think you can see that. I've just backed them on just some cardstock. Is that around? I hope that's around the right. If that's not around the right way, oh, epic fail. This is just some scrap paper, one of the six by six packs. Uh, the Dear Lizzie documentary. Huge fan. Dear Lizzie has my heart. She really does. I don't know if she knows that, but she has my heart. And this is actually, an a lot of these are Instagram photos. This, um, I just back simply, I tried to keep it simple and plain. This side I just did happy birthday, handwritten on there for him and just from us. So that's the first one. I did use the We Are Memory Keepers um, 4x4 sleeves as well, which I really like. They're really good quality. And on the front here you can see that I just put a, this is just a sticker and a wooden heart. This is a photo that my niece took. She loves photography and she took my daughter out one day and took some photos and they turned out beautiful. So I just did something simple there. Back down onto some of the six by six Dear Lizzie paper again and added some embellishments. This again, this Enjoy is actually a sticker as well. This one here is actually an overlay. So I had these in my stash. Decided just to do something a little bit different and pop that on there which I think gives it a nice effect. This is just a Project Life card that I found and put on here to sort of tie in with the theme of her having the umbrella. This is just the two by two. Two by two? Are they two by two? Yes. Four by four, two by two. <laughs> Mass is, oh, is not my strong point. And that's really embarrassing. But anyway, I actually have to say I'm really surprised at how well this size photo actually turns out. I was a bit skeptical at first doing two by two photos because I actually thought, oh, that seems really small. Are they going to sort of, is the photo gonna get lost being that small? But I'm really surprised. You don't lose the story of the photo. It still shows the story. And I actually think it looks really cute. I do a lot of journal, journal like Fobonichi, Hobonichi. Really good size. If you want to do any journaling, got a traveler's notebook or anything like that, I highly recommend printing out photos in this size. It's gorgeous, really cute. And I think it just gives it a really good look um, throughout the actual album. Like the fact that when you use the wooden veneers that they show through on the other side and you get the same effect. Because the Dear Lizzie papers are actually just one-sided, I did actually in this one use this to my advantage because the back of it was just white. So I just put some washi across it. I am completely and totally in love with washi, which I think most people are that paper craft. Just another little um, overlay 
some more photos. I kept that really plain because I just think the photo speaks for itself and I didn't want to take away from it. So I just kept it completely plain and left it like that. And I think all together, it just looks really classic. Over here's some journaling just to my dad. I just added once again some wooden veneers and some stickers. Another Project Life card that I tipped This in. is a photo of my husband and Acacia. It's probably one of my favorite photos. And it's just simple. You just, this is actually on one of the We Are Memory Keepers Instagram cards. They're really good for doing this kind of project. Um, makes it really quick and easy. You don't actually have to cut the paper out or anything like that. Pretty much stick the photo on, put a sticker on, put your wooden heart and your two little embellishments and you're good to go. Because I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I love doing really fancy things, but I just, you know, it's enough to find the time to do what we love without having to do it to such an extent where it, it becomes so time consuming. And I think if it's too overwhelming and it's too much, then you tend to put it off. Well, I know I do. So I've really simplified things down with my um, crafting and my project lifing because it just allows me to get things done. And I, I like that. It's done and I'm the world's most professional procrastinator you've ever met in your life. I need all the help I can get basically. So yeah. I wanted to keep this simple once again, absolutely love these photos, I just wanted them to speak for themselves. So just simple with a, a wooden um, veneer there and, and, a, and a stick of love heart. The great thing about this is I can't really tell you, I think this is, the, the, that is, that's the real side. So there's a sticker there, I've just stuck it on the outside but you get the effect from both sides, too easy, nice and done. I didn't mind that left blank, I was happy just to leave that as it was, I think. Doing it for my dad, I wanted to really, really simplify it even further because, you know, my dad especially is not a fussy man, so the less fussy this was, the better. This is um, backed on some more of the Dear Lizzie paper from that documentary series that I think I've shown this to you 600 times now, so I'm sure you know where it's from. This is a little, uh, I believe this is when I was getting Studio Calico kits. This is one of the Project Life from there, really handy just to pop in. Didn't do anything on this side. Love the love hearts. Left it at that. This is an Instagram photo. One of the apps I use. Beautiful life. I'll see if I can bring it up for you. Hang on. I will change that. It's actually called A Beautiful Mess. Really cute. I really, really love it. It's got some really simple things that you can just put over the top of your photo. Seriously, if this is upside down, when I edit this, <laughs> I'm going to like, seriously, I'm going to cry. Um, but as you can see, this was a photo for Mother's Day and I just put like hashtag and an arrow there and, and wrote on it and I just loved it. Um, I'll see if I can find out which pack these came from for you guys because it is really nice and I did buy another one as well. I'll find out all the information and put it down below because if you're anything like me, I crave to know everything that I'm watching. These are from the same Instagram. Pretty self-explanatory, a few stickers. I'll just flip through. Our kids always do crazy things, we don't always, and the grandparents don't always get to see it. She has a crazy side like most seven-year-olds, I'm sure. And as you can see, I didn't even embellish this page. I just put, and, and I don't think it looks naked. Does it look naked? Maybe it looks naked. I don't think it looks naked. <laughs> oh man, maybe that does look a bit naked, but I, you know, I left it and I'm sure I'll just have to go back to thinking that my dad likes things pretty simple. So we'll leave it at that. It's a little story. She's an only child, not by choice, but that's, you know, we're lucky to have her. And it's just a little story about how she has lots of friends. Her toys are her friends and I think it's beautiful. This is my beautiful mum and Acacia when we first went to the zoo with her. And of course, you know, that's my dad's mother's. Um, oh my gosh. Well, that's a Freudian slip if ever I've heard one. This is my dad's wife. That's my mum. And I just journaled on a little, um, once again, a little project card in there. Put that on just to give it a little bit, a little bit of a mishmash of um, paper in the back of that one. And it, it probably looks a bit <clears throat> like a mishmash. But that's okay. Well, this is actually from a different Instagram set album that I, I got. And I will link it down below for you. And it's really pretty and it's really nice. I actually got the album as well. Seriously, if you could see the mess around me this 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 is like deceptive not this is the only space in my whole place that actually looks like this you would have a connection i'm having oh here it is oh, 
Look, I found it. All right, I'll show that. That's up. it on the back here. I've got a little card that I'm going to, Keisha's gonna write on and she's just gonna, in her own handwriting, write something to pop you there. And we're gonna pop it in and finish it with that. That is all, oh, that's the album. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that it inspired you if you've got one of these lying around. I got them when they first came out and it's just been sitting there and I'd be like, oh, that's all a bit too hard. Too much on YouTube about how to do your four by four and then your two by twos on a six by four. It's if I can do it, anyone can do it. Once I worked that out, there was no stopping me. I was like a freight train. Yeah, constantly working on this and loving it. So much so that I bought another one. <laughs> yes, I do. This came with uh, the, so it is a We Are Memory Keepers and it came with matching cards. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I'm a, I'm very much a pale colored person. I like, okay, <laughs> I'm not pale colored. I like pastels, so <laughs> this just totally made my heart sing. Ooh, watercolor love heart there. It's watercolor, it's got a bit of pattern, it's pastel, it just ticks all the boxes for me. I do this one with pretty much similar photos in it for moi. If you've made it this far, thank you. I'll look forward to sharing some more things with you. If you've got any suggestions of anything you'd like to see, let me know. If not, I'll just plug along doing what I do, I guess. Awesome. goodbye how do you say goodbye on these things like how how do you how do you, I don't know how to say goodbye hey everyone I um okay that's really bad